Hi and welcome Optic Rocks fans. Today we will have a closer look on optical coatings and how to implement this with the software thread. That means um, f at first we will have um, a f an example of um, with a with chest interferometer, that means um, normally there is a 50 50 beam splitter applied, but we will change this to a 30 and um, 70 30 beam splitter. And also, we will have a look on uh, three uh, dielectrical de coating with just um, three layers of anti reflection coating and how to implement this. And also, there are two more examples that means one will be a periodic structure from a high reflection mirror that means this is hafnium oxide and silicon dioxide is applied um, and this is a sum of 25 layers of each material that means there are there are kind of 50 layers we are simulating um, and get different results and the last last but not least um, we will have um, we will deal with the problem that a, uh, that a lot of um, optic manufacturers are supplying you with all the data of re uh, reflectivity and transmission and how to implement this course into your software. Yeah, thank you for watching and let's have some hands on. Hi and welcome. At first, please um, go on help, um, browse sample files, and then just open the then go on coherence, then on white light, Chelsea interferometer. If I open this one, um, you see here, here's the white light source. That means if you just click on optical source, white light source, um, here is the white, white light source implemented. And also you will find here the beam splitter. And also, I think this will be here is the coating applied of, on surf, surface 5 on coating and coating control. This means like this here is the 50 50 and beam splitter applied. Um, if you open on coatings, then you can have a look on the 50 50. That means like just double click and it opens. That means on at the wavelengths at 587 nanometers there is a, a, a div he's dividing uh, this beam at 50 uh, 50 percent of reflection and 70 uh, and 50 percent of transmission okay, this is the example and yeah maybe maybe we will have a first calculation that means just click on trace and render Okay, here's um, here's the beam. The beam are coming. That means like 50% is transmitting and 50% is reflecting. And then uh, this light comes back, goes through the beam splitter, and this this interf uh, interference effect creates us here on our analyzing surface, our uh, our path, our coherence, um, our co coherence path. It means we just click on analyze. Iteration speed function analyzing one. Then yep, here is our result. And yeah, depending what you what you want to do with this white light interferometer, you can you, you can have results on tip and tilt or on on yeah. Also like the company of Cyber is using this um, this kind of setup and it's looking of roughness values and you can do a lot of different things and with this kind of interform interferometers. Then you can just click right light, show in visualization views, move it and have a look on this. Okay, now we want to implement um, yeah we want to implement this for 50-50. F for 7030. That means you just can change this to, for example, to 7 and this one to 3. And then just click OK. And also you can change. Also you can change uh, the name. It means just here for the name 30, 7030.
maybe you're thinking, okay, hey, this is 70 30. Um, this is just um, implemented for one wavelength, but um, with this wavelength, it's over the whole um, yeah, range of wavelengths. It means if you will have a look, just right click, then plot coating. You can uh, plot this um, on a standard glass substrate and uh, yeah, in a hooch on uh, from a minimum of 400 nanometers to a maximum of 600 nanometers. Just click OK. And you see this is applied for the whole um, yeah for the whole region. And also you can uh, yeah you can have a look on reflection transmission. This was just um, transmission. Now we will add re reflection. And here here we go. It's um, implemented for the whole range of wavelengths. It's it's not only this uh, 500 nanometer what we have um, what we had before. Okay, um, let's calculate this rays. Um, we are calculating this, then we are analyzing, analyze ir irradiation speed function on the analyzing one, and now we are expecting that you that, that the value is uh, smaller. Um, I think uh, last at uh, the 5050 this was at 1.2, and now this is just only at one. Okay, this was the first example. Let's continue with the next one. All right, we will have a look on the three layer coding. That means just go and help, browse sample files, and then go to the coding options to the um, coding three layer RR. And yeah, here is the example. And you open the folder over coding, and you he see here the three layer RR coding. Ah, this is now um, aluminium. The uh, aluminum three oxide and uh, some different layers. And just have in mind, this materials they're um, implementing here. These are the materials what you have here in your material tree over here. We will have just a look here. Um, this is already um, yeah, introduced. If there is a material missing, just have in mind, just right click, create new material, and you can add new, a new material, or just go on the glass catalog material also on costume there are also a lot of um, yeah, different dielectrical materials normally you use in your simulation okay um, what else we can do here uh, for example we can um, insert a new layer insert means this uh, will insert in between um, row two and three and yeah just insert one and yeah we can choose a uh, for example, uh, like aluminium uh, material and say 0 0.5, for example. Um, also, we can delete this very easily. And, and also, a very, uh, a very mighty thing is you can just group this together and then uh, doing this as a period function. That means just um, mark this, then right click, make into group. And then repeat counts. Um, you can sc scale this up. Okay. Um, before we will have a look um, just on this plot now. Just right-click plot coding. Plot just plot this. And this is yeah the transmission is very nice and smooth. And let's see how this will change if we're uh, um, yeah if we adding more periodic layers on this um, on this uh, on this example here. For example, now we will at 10, 10 layers that means now um, this three layers are applied 10 times okay also again right click plot coating and we will use a standard glass substrate and now you see how di uh, different this um, coating will be i think i mean this makes no sense because it's our air coating but uh, have in mind you can also um, have a look on what happens um, um, yeah, with your design if you're changing this. Alright, we will have now a closer look to a period periodic structure. That means also help our sample file and go through the coatings. And now we will go for the high reflecting mirror. And also we'll have a look on the coatings higher coating just double click and you see now this is hafium dioxide and these two layers are grouped and yeah, just have a look on this one right click 
plot coating and this this will be the high reflection coating um, in the ER area and maybe let's see what happens if we're adding um, 10 more layers now we're changing this from, from 25 to 35 and plot this again Wow. Okay, I think this um, this helps you a lot if you um, if you if you want to have a look on the de electrical coatings and layers on your coatings. Okay, now we want to um, yeah want to digitize a curve a curve um, from a given manufacturer. Um, in this example, we will use a curve from Opto Sigma. Um, it's a, a high reflection. It's a uh, good reflecting mirror, and we just go on coating, create new coating, and then we're using this sample coated reflection transmission from discrete wavelengths. And now we have here the capability just right click and digitize reflection curve, digitize transmission curve. I go for the reflection curve, um, I will select the image, and here we go, there is the image. Um, I select my X and Y minimum. That means here the origin should be 0 0.3 and this is 0. And now we go select X maximum. This should be 0 0.6 for 600 nanometers. And now we select our um, Y maximum. And this should be um, 1. All right, then we select our daters. Um, I go for the uh, zero angle. Also, you can implement this for the 45 angle. And the better you choose the data points, the better is this implemented. All right, then select the data, and then export the data, and yeah, I think we can name this afterwards, but this is already um, yeah, implemented here. Um, let's name this um, Optic Rocks Coating. All right, then we, we, have, we can also have a look, um, because um, the maximum value should be 1. If you see a um, bigger value than one, we can just correct this, but this should be fine. All right, then we're going on OK. If you want to plot the spectrum, just go on Optic Rocks Coating, um, plot the coating, and have in mind um, what area you choose. That means we implemented this for 300 to 600. It means just use 0 0.3 and 0 0.6. And make sure, and um, because we we only um, implemented the reflection curve, make sure that um, you have your tick here. Um, also, um, you can also add this with the digitizer your transition cost, but we didn't do this. And just click OK. And here we go. There is um, roughly our um, yeah, coating curve for zero degree. And yeah, you can just drag and drop this on the, the lenses on the or on different um, yeah, mirror substrates. All right, I think I hope this helps you and your um, with your optical coating um, topic. And please leave me a comment um, what um, other topics are interested. Thank you for watching and see you in the next uh, video.